Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at how we can generate SOS report for a Linux operating system. Okay. So often we will have a situation uh, wherein uh, we want to capture diagnostic information about our Linux system uh, which is having uh, some issues. Okay, We might have a server uh, which is having CPU or memory issue or performance issue or uh, some other uh, issue which uh, you are not able to uh, like uh, resolve or diagnose and you want to have some help uh, from the vendor to provide more uh, review uh, analysis or uh, diagnostic information about uh, the server okay so in these situations uh, we might be asked to uh, generate an SOS report uh, kind of report uh, which provides uh, provides diagnostic and analysis uh, information about the server which is having problem okay so here in this article we are going to see how we can generate this SOS report for uh, Linux based operating systems uh, basically Fedora uh, like in the, uh, like here in this video we are going to work on Fedora but this uh, uh, this can be applied to any other uh, 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 Fedora based systems like Red Hat or CentOS uh, to name a few okay so let us see like how we can uh, use uh, uh, the SOS uh, tools the SOS uh, management tools uh, to generate the SOS report on a managed uh, Ansible node okay so here like I have one uh, Fedora uh, server uh, which is being managed by Ansible and we are going to use that uh, system uh, to generate the uh, diagnostic report uh, and uh, diagnostic report uh, using the Ansible playbooks okay so let us see how we can achieve this in this video so this uh, here is the article that i'm going to refer for this uh, video okay so as a first step we need to make sure that uh, the node which is affected uh, like we have that node managed by ansible okay so in my situation like i have my ansible node manager uh, and this is a node which is having uh, issue uh, which we are going to generate the report on okay so let me go into my shell so this is my server uh, which is managed node uh, on which we are going to generate the SOS report uh, for which we are going to generate the SOS report and let me terminate the session and this is my controller node uh, so if I go into the inventory file for Ansible controller Ansible host Okay, so as you can see, like I have this uh, Ansible hosts inventory file with my fed, uh, fedser36.stack.com uh, node which I am uh, managing. Uh, so, okay, let us go into our documentation again. Okay, so this is the node that we are going to manage as we have seen. And coming to my next step. Uh, we are going to prepare the Ansible playbook uh, with a role uh, directory structure. Okay, so let me show you my uh, Ansible uh, playbook. Okay, so so here is my uh, playbook uh, where I have my uh, Ansible playbook ready with the role. Okay. So let us go through uh, this Ansible playbook first. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very basic Ansible playbook uh, wherein it, it runs on the sandbox group of servers uh, and it runs with a uh, root user and ex uh, like it executes the following role on that managed nodes okay so this is a very basic uh, 
a role uh, the role name is SOS reports okay so now uh, we if you see we have a roles folder under which we will we need to uh, we'll need to create the SOS report uh, role name folder uh, which we are going to call from the Ansible playbook and here as you can see like there are two folders where VARs and tasks. So basically, I'm going to define some variables in the VARs uh, main.yaml file and the task.yaml file is the actual uh, uh, the, uh, the core uh, activity that, are, that is going to be carried out uh, to generate the SOS reports. Okay, so let us go into the VARs uh, directory and try to see the main.yaml file over here. So as you can see, like we are uh, uh, defining these variables uh, basically these are key value pairs so our remote uh, report directory where we want to generate the report is var temp report so you can change it to any location uh, wherein you have enough space so that you don't run out of uh, uh, space uh, while the report is getting generated okay so this is a report directory and this is the report case basically uh, like if you are generating uh, this SOS report for any Red Hat uh, based Linux system, uh, you might have a case uh, ID uh, which uh, uh, which is a, a case number uh, that you generate with uh, the Red Hat uh, for support. So you can provide that case number. Otherwise, you can uh, provide any dummy uh, string uh, for time being. Okay. And the third one is a, a list of arguments uh, in the form of list uh, which we are going to pass uh, to the SOS report command um, so basically what it means is uh, it's going to collect all the logs and the ba uh, batch uh, option is to uh, run the report in a non-interactive fashion and uh, quite specifically uh, it is going to gen uh, show only the fatal errors uh, this uh, 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 once the report is generated uh, in the output uh, but otherwise it should be quiet and verify is basically going to run some verification steps on the uh, the within the uh, SOS uh, report generation okay so this is the uh, four uh, four parameters uh, the arguments that we are going to pass onto the SOS report okay so this is basically uh, the variable variables which we are going to use in the tasks main.yaml file okay let me now go into uh, tasks and now let us open our main.yaml file uh, and this okay so as you can see the this is the main uh, core um, uh, task file that is going to actually do our work of generating the SOS report okay so as you can see the first step is the install the SOS package and the required dependencies for this one okay uh, so this basically uh, is going to install the SOS package uh, and make sure it is present on that server or the managed node every time that we run this playbook okay and it also uh, is going to install the dependent packages if any along with the SOS package okay uh, and coming to our next step next task so th this task is going to create the reports directory uh, wherein we uh, want our SOS report to be captured okay so we are using this file uh, module uh, uh, by providing the path wherein we want to uh, we want to create this path on the manager node if it is not present uh, so basically it is a directory and provide uh, 755 permissions 0755 permissions okay so once that uh, folder uh, the report generate uh, generation uh, folder uh, path is created we now need to generate our report that is SOS report using the SOS command so basically this SOS uh, utility is present in user as been SOS once the SOS package is installed okay and we are going to uh, use SOS report 
and pass the parameter so this is basically a for loop on the uh, the list of arguments uh, that we have in the report underscore args list okay so this is this for loop will uh, retrieve all the arguments uh, from that uh, variable and here you can see the temp directory is basically uh, providing the path uh, wherein we want to generate the report and the case id is the case id uh, uh, which we have or any dummy uh, string which we can pass using the variables that we have defined in the uh, vars section okay so this is very basic uh, uh, task dot yaml uh, task, tasks main dot yaml file uh, wherein we are uh, installing the package uh, creating the repo, uh, directory structure and generating the report okay so this is how uh, we need to uh, basically create our playbook with role uh, so let me give a tree structure view of this okay so as you can see we have a uh, the playbook which we are going to execute and this playbook is going to uh, call the following role okay uh, the following role uh, will be executing the main.yaml file and it will be going to utilize the variables uh, uh, which are under the vars main.yaml file and uh, do the activity okay so let us see how we can uh, execute this and get our manager node uh, to generate the SOS report uh, for further analysis okay so before that uh, let me go into my documentation so we have covered the step uh, step one wherein we have seen where our uh, which uh, manager node we are going to generate the SOS report on and the step two is basically the structure of our ansible playbook with a role we have seen just now and now uh, like the third step it mentions the create the ansible playbook so we have already seen the ansible playbook uh, with the role which we are going to call so this is the uh, ansible playbook which we are going to call and uh, we are going to be uh, uh, we need to execute this uh, using the root uh, privileges okay and the step four is uh, basically creating the ansible role uh, uh, vars main.yaml definition file so it, this is basically the uh, arguments or uh, the variables uh, uh, the key value pair that we are going to use uh, in the uh, in the task main.yaml file okay so this also we have seen and the step by is basically the roles task uh, main.yaml file definition file so this is the core uh, the yaml definition file wherein we are going to actually carry out the task that is installing the SOS package and creating the repository uh, uh, reports for uh, directory wherein we want to store the uh, generated report and this is the final command that we are going to execute with the uh, the arguments that we have defined in the vars uh, main.yaml file and generate our report so we have covered uh, until this step and step 6 is to execute the ansible playbook okay so let us see how we can execute the playbook ansible uh, so we are going to use the ansible playbook utility and uh, provide the uh, playbook name and we need to pass the minus a parameter to uh, like basically uh, provide the uh, password for escalated privileges okay so I'm going to provide the root uh, password so as you can see it has gathered the facts on the manager node and then this is our first uh, task uh, wherein it is installed the SOS package and uh, it has created the report uh, reports directory and now it is generating the report on the on that server okay so let me go into my another shell and uh, will uh, ssh into the managed node okay 
so as you can see like we are into our manager node now and uh, if you do ps minus ef okay so it means like uh, our task is completed so as you can see uh, it basically has executed our, our task otherwise if you uh, do uh, grab of SOS you will, you will get to see the command uh, which actually runs on the server uh, but before that let me show you uh, so it has generated the report in var temp reports directory so this is the report in the compression format uh, that gets generated uh, which is basically the SOS report uh, which we need to share with the uh, vendor uh, like the Red Hat uh, to um, uh, help them to provide us with more uh, information on uh, the, the analysis of this server. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to run this playbook I, again and I wanted to uh, show you the exact command that uh, basically runs on the managed node okay so let me go into my uh, manager node again so as you can see so it basically executing this uh, uh, binary sos report with all these parameters that we have defined in the vars main.yaml file and this is the temp directory wherein we have uh, provided the path uh, from the vars.yaml file and the case id uh, which uh, provide which we have provided as test okay so once this execution completes so it gets vanished and we will have another report generated uh, so as you can see it has generated one more report uh, the SS report which we can share okay so this is how like uh, basically we are going to generate the SOS report on a managed uh, Linux operating system and this report can further be uh, like uploaded uh, to any uh, uh, repository uh, uh, with which uh, uh, we can further share it with the, uh, the vendor uh, or we can upload it in into their uh, portal for further review okay. So, uh, so now we have seen like how we can execute the playbook and uh, we have also seen the step 7 validating the SOS report generated. So basically we have seen, so let me show you, the, uh, so it basically installs the, uh, the following package on the server, uh, SOS, okay. So if you try to give, get some information about this package. So it basically uh, is a set of tools to gather troubleshooting information for the system. Okay, so this is what uh, it exactly does. So it generates a report and tries to provide additional uh, uh, technical information or debugging information about the server, uh, which can be analyzed. Okay, so this is how uh, we generate the report and. Uh, this might help you uh, to uh, run this SS report uh, on on the affected managed nodes for which you want to uh, generate this report and uh, want to share it with the vendor for further review. So that's what we wanted to see. Uh, wanted, uh, that's what I wanted to show you, like how we can uh, use Ansible uh, uh, playbook uh, with the role uh, to generate this kind of report on all the managed nodes uh, in our infrastructure okay i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all uh, thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day